Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're back for another exciting test. That's right, this is going to be another cold flow test. Toyota Genuine Full Synthetic 0W20 Synthetic Motor Oil versus Honda 020. Well, in the last uh, episode, the winner was Honda. Definitely check out that video. That's the last one we did. Well, let's go ahead and kick off this cold flow test. Here we go. Negative 50 C below zero. Let's do it. All right, we're back after five minutes. Total Honda Annihilation. Now let's take a look at the price difference here. All right, our Honda costs $4 per quart, right there. And our Toyota 020 synthetic costs $7.15 per quart. Hey, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and share this video with a friend that has a Toyota or a Honda. This could exponentially help them protect their vehicle which we're gonna talk about the different synthetic motor oils right now. Now we're gonna demonstrate the differences from different synthetic motor oils. And a lot of people aren't sure about this, so I'm gonna give you all the definitions right now. This right here, this would be like a, basically a mineral oil. If you looked at this underneath a microscope, that's what you'd be seeing. This is all different shapes, different sizes. This oil creates a uh, okay film strength, so you have more wear in your motor. Your motor won't last as long. You usually change your oil at about two to 3,000 miles with regular mineral oil. That's what this represents. Now we're on to a synthetic blend. This would be uh, some of your irregular shaped molecules, uh, which is like a synthetic blend quality. Usually synthetic blends are about one to 15% synthetic. So that's right, it's not much synthetic in there at all. So that's about what that would look like. And now we're on to a full synthetic. A full synthetic is basically 25% or more synthetic. That's right. They can call a full synthetic, full synthetic with only 25% with these perfectly round little molecules. And those create a much higher film strength. They flow better at cold temperatures. They don't break down and they don't allow the carbon backbone to attach to it. Less carbon, less sludge and we're actually gonna throw a video right up here in the corner to a whole engine flush playlist where we restore the efficiency of your motor. And now, of course, we're on to our 100% synthetic. Now, this is the beautiful stuff, and I refer to this on the channel as the liquid gold, and this creates a much higher film strength. It keeps the metal separated, so you don't have as much heat and friction, and heat and friction is what wrecks your motor 
and that wears it out. So when you run this, you just don't have to change it as often. This, you're gonna change at about every 10,000 miles. With 100% synthetic, you're guaranteed up to 25,000 miles. And I'm sure you're thinking that's gotta be impossible. Well, go ahead and take a look at this playlist right here. That's the oil analysis, proven results of how this can last 25,000 miles. And now for a little behind the scenes footage when we took this oil out of the bottles. All right, here's the behind the scenes when we go ahead and put our oil in the beakers. This is our genuine 020. Boom, cracker loose, and here we go. Ah, nothing like a nice tall pour. Woo, gives you a little rush. go. And now we're going to put it in. We're going to put it in uh, for five hours. Negative 50 degrees Celsius, which is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Cheers. The ritualistic wave, goodbye. I'm excited. Boom. Help me out. Let me know what oil Honda should go against next. You tell me. Leave a comment in the description section below.